All right, so here we are with Ricardo. <laughs> Originally, French Canada's hidden secret, but now the rest of Canada knows you because you have done so well, and I can't get over it. You're so down to earth and wonderful, and this new book is fabulous. But well, I'm happy. I'm happy you liked oh, it. Oh, love and, it. And because it was a dream, eh? Yeah. It was a dream with the first book. Now I feel more confident. I'm happy because I know that people enjoy the first one. Yeah. Now I'm stressed just that I hope. This you're going one's to like going the to second keep one. Up I know. It. Yeah. it is a lot of pressure when you're. Yeah. You feel like I don't know whether you feel like you're feeding people when you write a cookbook. With a novel, you just read it, and if they don't like it, they just put it down. But when you're actually making recipes, the pressure must be. It's just that you don't. You never publish a book for yourself. You yes, have these recipes. Everybody. You do it in the hope that it's going to help someone. Yeah. Give an idea. Convince them that it's preferable to cook right. for the family or for themselves right. than to order. So it's just, yeah, you're always anxious. It's a new baby. Now, I knew, because uh, you, you have so many fingers and stuff, like TV, the magazine, yeah. the books, and, and everything else. Now, you were just saying that you have a 50,000 square foot experimental farm. Is that well, it's not a farm. farm but it's, no, it's a I, garden. I, 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 it's a garden where we try things. Varieties of beets, of radish, of lettuce, of strawberries, of things that are not oh. supposed to, post, uh, to, to grow right. in my climate. Uh, so you're pushing the envelope and seeing yes, what you can get to grow. I work yeah, fig trees that I dig a hole four feet deep yes. to to bury it for the winter and and, and to have now my fresh figs. you're not doing this yourself, though. Uh, do, you? Oh, do you really? Almost, except cutting the grass. I found someone to do it. <laughs> But the rest of it, yeah. I love. You know do you what? Do you like getting your fingers dirty? Getting yeah, in with I'm, the I'm, real yes, ingredients. Yes, I'm a manual guy. Good. This yeah. is why, like for me, like gardening, cooking, yeah. working wood, making yes. different things. I love to have a result at the end of the day. Right. And and when I'm gardening, I'm alone, and it feels good. And I create, and and I smell the tomatoes, yeah. and I think of what I'll do with them in a so month the when they're not... The, yes. Do you keep little notebooks then? Or do you, like, if you... Do you think what you're going to plant thinking I'm going to use this in something? Or do you oh, yes, plant totally. and then... Oh, yes, totally. Oh, no, 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 no. We do? know exactly. And yeah. I have... One of my friends writes in the paper about yes. gardening stuff. So we make a list. What are you going to plant in your garden? What do you plant in mine? Right. And how do we work that? So at the end of the season or yes. along the season, we can try things. You can harvest. And, and, and we can yeah. harvest and, and really get to learn because there's always something new to learn so what's your favorite ingredient it's tough and say that in summertime yeah when tomatoes are in mm. full bloom yeah. there's nothing to be this warm from the sun and you always eat it like an apple yes just open it yeah, just, just cut it i, yeah, I have my knife yeah. open it in half just coarse yeah. salt yes nothing that's it. Face. nothing just else. coarse salt yeah. not mm -hmm. a fancy sea salt no. coarse salt and it's like, juicy, it's good sitting in the stairs yeah. with the kids. Yeah. Same thing when it's raspberry time. Oh, oh I know. And that's a memory from my yes. childhood. Isn't it? For yeah. breakfast, yeah. going outside, having my feet wet by yeah. you know by, by the, 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 the Yes, exactly. Yeah. And then you pick them just know. you know, fresh from oh. the morning with heavy oh. cream, pieces of bread in it. And I was smashing all this together. I'm getting hungry. And it was just this. I, I, I'm <laughs> doing it and I enjoy it because now I can see that my girls will do probably yes. the same thing. But don't you? It's great. Then you girls know where food comes from too. That's so which important. Which is a huge, I think. Chicken thing doesn't that people come, you know, alive a in a plastic. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Well, yeah. and it's important for, for us to show them that we killed that animal. Yes, I agree. Yeah. Because when you know that you kill this nice little chicken or veal, you don't throw it in the garbage. No. You eat it all and you respect it for respect what it yeah. is. And, and it's a link that we have to have in the family. You need to talk about that more. I like that when you do that because it's very important. You know, sometimes I would like to write a book just about this way of we... The thing we were doing in Canada yeah. that we forgot. Yes. Because sometimes we think we reinvent things that right. will. But we realize that this is what, how it was working. Yeah. 50, 60, 100 exactly. years ago. It was happening. So, then, yes, yeah. I'd like to do something about that. You just keep to remind. diary in the kitchen then of yes. what's happening, right? Exactly. Yes. On the garden, sorry. Then On the, the garden. We, I, yeah, we do, do that. You? Yeah. I see a book. Thank you. <laughs> Thank As you always, very much. Was great. Yes. yes. Mm. 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 See Excellent. you next time. Excellent. I have to write more often so I'm with you more often. So we can do more of these chats. Exactly. Great. <laughs> Thanks, Ricardo.